Hello beautiful Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's call in your angels, guides, spirit and source energy. Let's see what messages they would like to bring through with these cards. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you and spirit does want to bring through direct messages for your situation. So keep a look out and take notice of any messages that resonate, any signs or symbols on the cards that have meaning to you. Let's take a look at your first card and it's the raven, the shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Wow. Okay. The first thing I'm seeing is that the raven, the crow, this beautiful species of bird, I feel that is a sign for some. I feel that they may be your familiar, they may be um, a spiritual sign for you, there may be a message when you see them. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm, I'm receiving from spirit. I'm also seeing here that um, there is a powerful creation happening in your life right now. A powerful creation that you're molding, that you are very much focused on. Um, you may not have a complete clear view of, uh, you know, all of the details or perhaps completely where it's going to end up, but I do get a sense that you are kind of crafting it though. You kind of are, are able to control some aspects of it. Um, now this may of course be a relationship for you. It might be to do with your work or your employment. It might be to do with your home. Um, it might be a friendship, place this energy where it fits for you. I love that this message here is speaking about your gifts because there is something that you are underutilizing right now. There is a, there's a gift that you have that you hold that's intrinsic to your being. And, uh, yeah, spirit is really wanting to point that out, wanting to point out that you can use your gifts don't be afraid to let your yourself shine, your gifts shine. And I feel that once you you kind of bring it out into the open, I feel that you're going to be totally unexpected um, energies here. There's going to be a totally unexpected energy that that um, comes into your life because you're you're honoring that gift. And it will happen fast. And and I feel that um and I feel this is a, you know, there's a strong purpose to this, okay, using this gift. And what this gift is, is going to be different for everybody. Each of us have a different gift. And sometimes it's different gifts at different um, times in our lives as well. So, yeah, I do feel that's a strong message here. Uh, be careful with what you say, uh, because your communication is going to be very um, magical, you could say. All right, so it's going to have an effect. What you say, the words that you say, or what you write is going to be very powerful. Um, connection to elemental, so connection to earth energies, connection to spirit, connection to animals, connection to Gaia. Powerful. Okay, beautiful, beautiful and strong and powerful energy to, energies to start your uh, reading, Taurus. And your next card from this deck is the humpback whale. And the keyword here is singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power of your soul. So singing, you may actually be a singer. You might feel that there is, um, it's to do with the voice. So you might feel that there is um, something that you need to say. That's really, um, yeah, it's really important to you. Your inner guidance system, your intuition is going to be really on point this month. Your inner navigation. Mm -hmm. 
And once you follow this inner guidance, nothing is going to stop you or keep you from your goal or your purpose. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what this deck reveals for you, Taurus. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. This one, okay, these two here, actually. These two cards. Let's see what they are. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So yeah, we're, we're, we're tapping into that energy of gifts and your own unique gift at this point in time in your life is important. It's important to not only you, but and, and influencing your life in a positive way, but also um, others, but also others. So this is powerful. Spirit is asking you this month to really look at uh, your inner landscape and what gifts, what um, passions that you ha that you have um, that maybe you're underutilizing. Mm, beautiful. And surrender. So I feel this is a message of surrendering to this this path, to surrendering to this gift that you have that that's going to be helpful to yourself and to others. And this gift might be um, to do with uh, relationships for you. It might be to do with work for you. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. You must use your own intuition throughout this reading. And it says here, I can release my need to control. So there might actually be a situation in your life this month where you are needing to let go of uh, control. Let go of some kind of uh, thing, uh, person, situation that you're holding on to, that you've got an attachment to. You can release it. Um, spirit really is looking out for you here. You can surrender. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. Taurus, guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. Okay, this one here. Uncored relationships. Interesting, interesting, very powerful when we do this, very powerful when it's needed. Let go now and forgiveness is freedom. So, you know, it might resonate for you on the level of letting go at the moment, letting go of relationships, a family member perhaps um, that is um, toxic or is not in alignment with you in some way. It might be a romantic relationship, of course might be a friendship um, but yeah you must uncold relationships um, and there's also forgiveness for some so yes feel if that uh, resonates for you if uh, forgiveness is important in this um, uncording uh, releasing yourself from the attachment um, codependency toxic relationship mm, it's important okay Look for the signs. Look for the signs. Pay attention and expect an answer. Look look out for an answer to a prayer. Okay. Uh, yes, a prayer is going to come in um, this month for you. Pay attention. Look for the signs. And expect. See, this is the thing. Expecting, expecting an answer. Expecting a blessing. You know, having that mindset, having that, that intention is extremely powerful. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. Guidance for Taurus. Let's see. Unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. I feel this is to do with um, a few things. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is that it's to do with the self-esteem aspect. Um, unity of self. So this is spiritual alignment. This is in alignment with your body, with your heart with your mind, with your spirituality. These things coming into alignment is going to bring unity and it will have a ripple effect across all the different areas of your life, bring them into alignment. And that's extremely powerful. You will start to see some major shifts when that happens. Now, I'm also seeing that unity is about this uh, uncording, uh, breaking the bonds of a not so healthy relationship. Um, so I feel that, uh, yes, to get unity within self, this really does need to need to happen for some of you. Virtue is your next card. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. 
So this is about acknowledging that gift that's come up several times in this read. Acknowledging your spiritual attributes is that gift. And um, it's going to encourage others to grow in some kind of way in some circumstance. So there's that um, benefiting yourself, but also benefiting others. Guidance for Taurus. This one here, renewal, beautiful. It's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come. So we have that message of forgiveness again. So that's important. Um, you'll know if that resonates for you. There's also, um, yeah, a powerful energy here about making a decision to renew your life in some way. Um, and you will get clarity about your life purpose. So you are on the right path. Um, this is a big energy and you may be feeling this energy already. Um, it may be kind of happening. It may have been happening around you for several months. Okay, this renewal, this rebirth, um, getting clarity about your purpose, about your uh, kind of where you're going. Mm. What is divinely suited to you? Um, and yes, we need to take some practical considerations with this spirit is telling me. So practical considerations come into play with it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a big energy. The Ace of Winter implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, but keep going. So there is a um, new idea and an inspiration. Um, it might have a rocky start. It might be bumpy. And to begin with, there might be some setbacks or some things that happen. But keep going. Don't allow that uh, set of circumstance to stop you. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So, yeah. There is um, just a refining of the situation of the plan and some time some more time and you'll start to see this renewal take place the six of summer the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived childhood dreams a dream that you've had for a while has been put on the back burner perhaps it's about reigniting that passion and of course children uh yeah so this may be grandchildren your own children you might be starting a family um there might be a career choice involving children okay so we've got that energy strong here coming up for some of you and um memories yeah old memories can be healed and um can mean someone returning from your past it doesn't have to be a love interest although for some it will be they might reach out to you and uh, there might be connection there once again from someone from your past the three of spring stop to take time to review and make long-term plans capitalizing upon your past successes it's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. So yes, pat yourself on the back. You've come so far and you need to acknowledge that there's been um, achievements, but there's, an, there's another phase um, and I can see that with the Ace of Winter. There is another phase about to begin for you, but patience needs to take place. You need to be a bit more patient about the next phase and it playing out the 10 of spring you're working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy a life so perhaps you have had a lot on your plate perhaps you've got a lot going on um, it could be work related it could be emotionally related Mm. there's a there's kind of a burden here there's a responsibility and a burden and something is you know um, could potentially become too much 
So it's important to delegate or reach out for help or to balance that, to balance the the effort you're putting in with um with with peace doing something for you joy something that brings joy to your to your heart and your life so balance that energy out if you can some powerful energy is coming through for the month ahead taurus i hope you've enjoyed the reading it's been really wonderful to read for you today i will talk to you again soon bye for now